You know, what are your guys' expectations? They're, they're going to be high on the outside. What are yours? You know, our expectation is what it is year in and year out, you know. Obviously, play the best that we can. Um, like, uh, just each opponent, take them seriously, you know. One and know mentality, kind of every week attack it. And I think that for our defense this year, we have, you know, especially returning so many guys, we have a lot of uh, kind of like – you know, confidence going into the season. I would say confidence more than anything that we haven't really, you know, I, don't, I haven't felt it like this my time here, actually. With Jabril's a guy that, you know, a lot of people said some really good things about this spring. Yeah. Did you notice a difference in him? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Jabril, he works hard all the time and, uh, you know, a great football player, obviously. But, you know, I think between him, me, and uh, David, it being our last year, you know, I think there's obviously a little bit more into that fire mm -hmm. fueling it. And so it's going to be an exciting season for all of us. You did come in right after the Fiesta Bowl, right? You, you, yep. You came in right after that. I mean, I mean, what I mean, Brett's kind of said, I want to play in a game like that before I oh, leave yeah, here. I mean, I, I know conference championship, all that, so you, you want to stick to your goals. But, I mean, is it playing in one of those kind of New Year's games? I mean, is it is it fair to say that's on your guys' radar is what you want this year before you get out of here? Yeah, absolutely. That's It's definitely fair to say that. I think, you know, obviously subconsciously in the back of our mind that's constantly a year in and year out you know not just this year because we're seniors and whatnot but you know i think we have a special senior leadership group so i think uh you know that is more at the forefront of our mind this year but you know how it goes one and oh every single week so we'll take it one at a time do you feel like though i mean you guys are going to start the season probably ranked i mean especially on defense a lot of people are saying could be one of the best in the country i mean with a senior quarterback back i mean it just seems like there's going to be some attention on you guys in the early season especially when you get some you know oklahoma state game things like that i mean yeah. do you feel like this you know the makings are there if you guys can take care of that one and mentality this could be a special year for you guys yeah absolutely i, I think it could be a really special year for us and i mean it's like that every single year you know because Honestly, the Mountain West is such great opponents and and so stacked top to bottom. I think, you know, to, to be able to win the Mountain West and go undefeated even in a season, that's, you know, speaks so much to a team. And, and obviously that's the goal every single year. Yeah, I feel like you guys work harder to, to put yourselves in a situation like you're in with, with these expectations. And, you know, now that you've been here for four years, four years or five years now? Yeah, four. four this is going to be four, four years. Yeah. Um, I, I guess, you know, is it important to kind of embrace them, though, and, and acknowledge them and handle types and expectations so you know what you're capable of, or do you just completely ignore them? I mean, how, how do you approach it, especially, like, being a senior now? How do you approach, approach the, uh, the expectations? Yeah, I feel like approaching our expectation is just kind of like that daily discipline attitude, you know. <clears throat> Nothing really changes for us as, as far as, you know, our mentality to win, our – you know, our grind, our daily grind. So when we just know that when we come in and we work our hardest and, and give it our all that we've got every single day, you know, things are going to work out for us. It's done so in the past and it will continue to do so in the future. I guess you'd rather have expectations of being first and last, right? <laughs> yeah, <I mean. laughs> absolutely. Yeah. With the defense, though, I mean, everyone is kind of saying this could be, you know, you could brings back so much depth. But I mean, I think Andy was saying the games aren't played on paper. I mean, is it going to be yeah. easy for you guys to, to try to lock back in this year? How do you look at this defense? With, there is, a, as Jay's saying, a lot of, you know, they're expecting a lot out of you, but you, you got to go out and do the work, too. No, yeah, absolutely. I think uh, what Coach Avalo said is 100% correct. You know, yeah, on paper, we might look the best. We might, you know, have the stats here, there, and that. But honestly, when we line up against Troy, all that's out the window. It's a new season, and, you know, it, it's a new chapter to our book kind of thing. You know, that sounds cliche, but it really is. Um, I think, you know, the mentality for, for our defense going into it, um, is just, you know, be the best defense we can be, you know, play sound defense, don't give up big explosives, continue to continue to work on our turnover margin, and, uh, <clears throat> and you know, obviously the run game, we got to stop that. So I think uh, with that in mind and going into fall camp with that, I think we'll uh, be able to polish up and be where we need to be coming to game one. Durant, what's it been like having a new position coaching Coach K this year? Coach K is awesome. I love him to death. Uh, the whole defensive line, um, all the guys love him. You know, he's, he's a different persona in there, obviously, uh, <laughs> a little bit more laid back than Coach Caldwell. Um, but he plays well into each person's, like, playing ability, playing style, 
and he really knows how to approach the kids. That's something that I've seen this off season that I haven't really seen before is you know those D line kids being able to have that open hearted communication with them and, and be able to you know really trust one another. It's it's a two way street, you know, trust and and I think Coach K does a great job with it and excited to see this season.